Okay, we're back. Let's try to finish this up because my camera is ready. I charged it for 30 minutes just to try to finish this up. So that's where we left off and the camera died. So here we are again trying to finish this up. For the sake of the trying to rush, I'm going to not talk too much, but it's been 30 minutes and this seems to be dried. And now what we're going to do is attach the jump rings. And Josie, I'm watching your door stopper part two. How many videos do you have? You have six videos up now. It's addicting, isn't it, Josie? Uh, making videos, Josie, to me, uh, has inspired me to continue in my art and because you asked for me to upload a video to keep you company you inspired me to finish this so that's what I'm doing so there's that and for the sake of time I already uh, beaded this up and basically what it was is the chandelier piece that I was looking for and I used floral wire and I ran it through and this is what I ended up with and that's going to go let's make a loop first so here's how to make a loop you grab your needle nose round pliers throw it here there's people that like to bend it this way reposition their um, pliers and go around I do it however I want to do it but that was the correct way to do it. And like I said, I, this is basically a sample necklace to what the future holds to it. And I'm going to run a jump ring down here or up here to attach it down here. Never be afraid to do mixed media, do whatever your heart is content to do. Just give it a go. Like I said from the beginning of the video, this is a three part video it seems like. Um, it's an idea that I had in my head and we messed up a little but I worked with it and learned from my mistakes. Nothing in art is a mistake, it's actually an opportunity to go off of that and keep creating. Just have faith. Okay, now let's finish this off. We're almost done. I think I can, I think I can. Now we're just gonna, I did cut also the necklace, the chain off camera since the camera died. I get usually three hours of video, but my kids are on vacation and um, what was I saying? Here's my other jump ring. And they've been messing with the camera. So there wasn't that much time or battery left on my camera. That's why we ran out. Some of my tools are professional tools and some are just from freight. Some are from Home Depot. Some are from the dollar store. Whatever. And we're done. All done. How do you like that? I love it. This side still needs gloss. Like I said, this side still needs gloss, this side is gloss. So these are jelly prints layered on top of cardboard. I think I have two layers of cardboard. 
maybe one, most likely two. Jelly prints on each side. The jelly prints are from Lori Haley Richardson. And the creation is mine. So there you have it. I finished another project using my jelly my jelly prints in a very 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 different way and let me zoom you in so you guys can see the detail on this jelly print also there's rub-ons that Lori Haley Richardson sent me you see that nice glaze on there and so we still need to add those um, what are they called forgot what they're called but I'm supposed I'm gonna punch some in here rods rods I'll remember in a little bit this side both these side both of the sides on this one are glazed only one side of this one is glazed the other side still needs to be glazed but since you wanted Josie a video to watch and keep you company I decided to just jump on in and do this. So there you go Josie. Hope you enjoy my creation. I definitely going to finish it up and give it the final touches. And what are those things called? Um, eye holes. They're metal. You punch them in. Brads. Eyelets. I think they're called eyelets. I'm going to punch some eyelets in there for strength. And next time I'll do a few different things. Probably a lot of different things. But I'll definitely wear this piece. And I like it. One of a kind. And it was a learning experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoy your guys' comments. Um, please thumbs up. And please leave me a nice comment. And if you're inspired by me, please, please, please mention that you're inspired by me. I am inspired by lots of ladies here on YouTube, as a matter of fact. Let's see. I just finished watching, well, I'm watching Josie, but I just finished wa washing, watching, let's see, where are you, where are you, lady? I'll find you. Why can't I find you? It's in my history, but I'm being lazy. Seriously can't find it, so let's just go to my history and find it. Oh, my history's not popping up. Why are you not popping up? You always pop up. Huh. Hey! Histories on this side now. Okay, YouTube's changing their format. Not nice. Let's see. Do you say your name on here? Because I don't want to screw it up. Let's see. Good morning, everybody. Danny B here. Danny B. <laughs> I love the Mandela you're doing. And... I love that you are creating a lifestyle to where it's less cleaning, less cooking, and more art farting. <laughs> I love the Mandela. That is gorgeous. You did a really, really, really good job. And you've been inspiring me from the get-go. You have 13 videos. I watched all 13. Josie, I've watched all of your videos. I'm all caught up. I'm missing my girl Lori. Um, 
Who else do I enjoy? I enjoy Gina Ahrens. I enjoy Tracy Bautista, even though I don't think there's any new videos. Unless she has a new channel. The Frugal Crafter is very exposed. She doesn't need me to expose her in any way. Or even mention her, but she does inspire me. She's very hyper today. <laughs> but she did an experiment with crayons on a hot pot. And that was pretty cool. Um, who else have I been watching? Let's go see. Who did I watch today? Uh, oh, Tutu Amy. She did a cheap and chic DIY patriotic bouquet with dollar store finds. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, a new lady I just started watching today. Mixed Media Moments. And she was promoted through Cray Boutique. Who else have I been watching? Shannon Green. She did a coloring for grown ups. That was really cool. Those came out really nice. Who else? Um, there's a little girl that has subscribed to me. Her name is Kimora Wells. Hi, Kamora Wells. It seems like you want to tap into your creative side. Um, I hope you watch this video and hear me say your name, Kamora Wells. You're doing the dollar store molds. I find that very exciting that you're so young and you're wanting to dip into art. You keep at it, girl. You just keep going. And if I inspire you, I'm glad I inspire you. And hopefully in the future, you continue inspiring me. So I want to inspire you to continue making your videos because you're wonderful. Who else did I watch today? Of course I watched Velocity, Velocity Vet 08. I love the Renee bouquets. The little butterflies are gorgeous. And who else? I like watching Animal Wonders Montana. I'm so in love with one of their animals. His name is... What is his name? Mm. My husband says that I remind him of Mr. Kimosabi. There's a little animal there. His name is Kimosabi. What is Kimosabi? I'm not too sure. I think he is some kind of porcupine. He makes these noises that my husband says reminds him of me. The noises come from Kimosabi Tree Fort. That's the video. And he's always going, hmm, hmm, hmm. And my husband goes, hey babe, that's you. Sounds just like you. Stop it, Kimosabi. Who else have I been watching? Paddington's fan, got your name right this time. And I think that's about it today. I'm looking around. Patty Parrish, I watched you yesterday. I like watching you. Um, who else? I watched myself today. I got a good kick out of watching myself glue my ass, glue paper to my ass. <laughs> uh, Susie Dennis, or Susie Denise, or Susie Dennis. It's Susie, S U Z I, Dennis, D E N N I S. She does, what does she do? She does the paper, the tissue paper layering that we do. I just came across her channel yesterday, the day before. So she has done probably way before me, it seems like. But she's pretty well experienced in it. The um, fabric paper that I've done. I had no clue she did those too. So, to hoots to you, Susie. Let's see, who else? Just giving you guys ideas on who to go watch. 
that I've been inspired by. Oh, a pocket full of vintage. Those are good videos. And I like watching RSA replays. It's the the RSA. I just finished finish finished watching or listening to about three days ago. Let's talk about death. That was very, very, very interesting. If you want to um, create some art and listen to something that you don't have to watch because they're basically up on a panel and they're just talking about death. Very interesting. I suggest you guys will watch that. Another person I like watching is Craft Test Dummies. Uh, what did she do just recently that now I want one? I'll probably get it if it's on clearance. Um, the Tim Holtz Distress Marker Spritzer. That's amazing. That's the craft dummies. Basically, she reviews products. Who else? I'm just going to keep talking till my camera dies. Oh, Kim Reed. Love love me some Kim Reed straightforward lady love me some Kim oh you know um, this lady did this easy independence day treats and snacks her name is Ann Lee Ann or Ann or Shine, Ann Lee, A N N, and then Lee, L E. Who else? Carol Doobie. I love me some Carol Doobie. I like her train of thought. I like the way she thinks. Her mess ups. I think she calls them oops. And I don't remember exactly what she says after that, but it's something like opportunity something about your your mess ups kind of my mentality too no it is my mentality opportunities when you mess up who else Karen Ellis it's Karen K A R E N either it's Ellis or Elise E L L I S mm. Rita Marie she does the cutest art tag envelopes. Very, very nice. Another lady that I suggest you go watch is Scrap Made Simple. She just recently did the winner winner chicken dinner for you too. 100 subscribers by, sub by Scrapbooking Made Simple. It's, she's on YouTube. Scrap, Scrap Made Simple. Oh, she has some new die cuts out that are amazing and very cheap. They are embossed with X cut dies and Sizzic magnetic platform. They're a really good deal. You get like, oh, maybe I think it's like five, maybe five X cut dies that come with a magnet platform for like, I think it was. $15. Just watch her video. It's number 101 cut and yes. Embossed with X cut dies and Sizzic magnetic platform by Scrapbooking Made Simple. Uh, another video my daughter was showing me. This kid, his name is, I don't know what his name, oh, Ian Phelps. Phelps. Ian Phelps, I A N P H E L P S. He does an Ever After Disney parody. I think that's the way you say it, parody. Quite, quite interesting. Kids got talent. What he says is true. It's very true. Go watch that. Let's see what else. Trying to give you ladies things to watch. Hmm. 
Just looking through all of my history to see what I've been doing and watching. Oh, and my, my daughter has a YouTube channel, Glitter Me Pink 123. It's more for youth, it's more for teenagers. But yeah, she has a YouTube channel. Oh, Kelly Donovan, Knitting and Things. Love me some Kelly. Who else? Who else? It's just a lot of repetitive, repeated um, subscribers that I have, so. Oh, Fluffy Spit. Uh, I think her last video was three months ago. Fluffy Spit, if you hear me, come up with some new videos. You, you inspire me also. Let's see. Oh, if you guys want to see an amazing chicken coop, Lacquer and Lace Vintage at Heart has the most amazing handmade one of a kind I think chicken coop. She's here on YouTube. Uh, her video I think she put up was a week ago. It's Lacquered and Lace Vintage at Heart. L-A-C-Q-U-E-R A-N-D L-A-C-E. So lacquered and lace is all together. And then I guess it's space vintage, space at, space heart. Who else? Lots and lots of Lori. Where are you, Lori? There's this tutorial on butterfly wing ear cuffs that I want to give a go to. And <clears throat> that tutorial was uploaded by Tiffy Quake. T I F F Y Quake Q U A K E. Those are some amazing butterfly ear cuffs. We can use that either as an ear cuff or just take her, not take, but definitely mention her for inspiration, but use her DIY for things that we can do in our art. It's pretty simple. I like watching Tati. Tati's all about makeup though. But I like watching makeup videos and she, I think, I watch three ladies for, for makeup videos. Uh, I also like me some Goss makeup chat. He's amazing. Martha Hopkins. Who else? And myself. I see a lot of myself. I have Susan D. Wart. Susan D. Wart. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you guys want to learn how, and I've actually years ago ordered the paper bead tool, and I ordered that from Janice May. And she gives tutorials on how to make paper beads. Uh, she's pretty good. Janice May. Oh, who else have I been watching? Andrea Kidman. Mixed Media Jen. She, I think she does a card, index card a day. Sp 
Spellbound, Spellbound 987 inspires me also. She says I inspire her, but she inspires me. Yeah. Mm, who else? Try Heart 67. She does cute shabby chic hearts. She has a tutorial on that. Codis Crafty Corner. She has beautiful flowers that she just recently made. Uh, oh, and if you guys want to learn how to make a homemade paper bead roller tool, there's this lady, and it's Rose Prince. R-O-S-P-R-N-C-S-S. It was uploaded a year ago, but that's fine. She teaches you how to make a paper bead roller. Oh, the Frugal Crafter has this green creativity paper bead roller review that I want. I want it. She says she picked it up at Target. Who else? Who else? The Paper Passion. She does paper bead base coating, making advanced paper beads with templates. Um, how to make a fancy paper napkin covered pendant. That's from the Paper Passion. Lily Linica. I love her sassy fairy butterfly canvas. L E L E and then Linka, I think it is. L I N E C A. Who else? Who else? Lisa rides again. Who else? Got me some Spellbound 987 all over the place. Remember, I'm just looking through my history. Uh, who else? Okay, my, my camera's ready to just go kaploop a little. So that was probably all. I'm just going to continue till the camera dies. Uh, da -da. Just looking through my history. Still here. Oh, TED Talks. It's basically TED, T E D. There's this wonderful, wonderful speaker, Stella Young. And she talks about, I'm not your inspiration, thank you very much. Stella Young, she is on TED. And I think they go by either TED, T E D, or TED Talks. Stella Young. I've always thought the same thing, but never really said it. I have taught my kids what she's saying, but I never really said it to anybody else, but I I believe what she says. I'm not your inspiration, thank you very much. Just because she's handicapped doesn't mean that she has superpowers. Yeah. Love TED Talks. Ronnie Johnson. R-O-N-I Johnson. J O H N S O N. Create faux wood grain. She has a good tutorial that was four years ago, but it's still good to know. Uh, let's see. Jenny Belly's always nice to see. Uh, there's another lady, Angie's Art Channel, but just be aware that she 
I, I, I don't mind. I, I watch her. But just be aware that 